there. Loud and shit. Yo, why don't you give me my dingo, bro? I want my dingo. I can't find a fucking stand in my fucking phone. So good. <clears throat> so good. I can't get this shit. I can't get the angle to stay right like this shit. Like, um, I got a couple of some shit. Some, I hate that shit. She be doing me like that. Hold on. Yeah. It's going to end up falling shit. <laughs> So you go, so you go, yeah, so we'll, we'll, uh, first of all, most right. <laughs> first, we back. First of all, we back with Jay Walker. Jay Walker, yeah. nice. first of all, first, you know what I'm saying, for our part two, you know what I'm saying. Um, I know you were talking about health before, right? And I want to yeah. know, I would, I really want to know your thoughts on, you know, society, um, avoiding literally just avoiding their their health, just avoiding and not giving a fuck about it, careless. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just. I'm seeing that a lot in society. People just don't. People just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Truth is, I can't. I can't like I'm better than than nobody. Cause the only the only reason why I give a fuck about my health is because I went through trauma and events. I went through a few traumatizing events that made me care. You know, I can tell you right now, if I didn't go through what I went through last last year. Yo, I just was continuing to get away scot free. I, I I would still be doing the same shit. I still be smoking weed every day. I still I still be doing a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of shit. So to be completely real, like a lot of niggas get on here and they they just act like they you know I'm not gonna say they act like. But they got the motivation already. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. If, you know, you, you look at people like Bonds, you cut uh, a couple other people. I know a lot of people. Uh, like, like they just get up on here and they already got like the motivation to, to you know, want to be healthy and stuff like that. But me, 
I, I I had to go through shit. Like I had to de- I had to be dealt with the consequences of my bad lifestyle choices in order for me to get it and understand. I didn't I didn't just have that motivation. My motivation comes through fear. Straight up. And I'm not afraid to admit that I'm real with myself. My motivation comes through fear. This the yesterday, October 6, 2022, that was when I got the that the um this did yesterday October sixth of last year, so yesterday was the anniversary when I went into the ER. Um, uh, uh, for for like kidney stone and shit. So it is crazy because I was in such a different I was in such a different mindset when like like last year because I was just going through so much shit that just made me not give a fuck like. I was high all the time. I was going to work high. Uh, and I had a really bad sweet tooth. But it, it's just crazy because it's like, I think that's how I was, bro. And I, I can't even recognize myself. Like, mm. it's like, I, I'm a completely different person. Like, literally, like, bro, like, even before I went, like, to the hospital, like, I had several warning signs. Like, the night before I went to the hospital, bro, like, I, I literally like I cringe, bro. Like I cringe at how I didn't give a fuck at how, at how I, I cringe at how much I used to not give a fuck because I'm just like I was really asking for it type shit. Like I know a lot of people when they get sick, they be like, "Oh damn, how this happened to me?" I know how this happened to me. I was asking for the shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why. I, that's why I don't be like. That's why I like I'm better than nobody because I'm like. I know I was asking for this shit, and I take responsibility for that shit. Like, facts. I wasn't drinking no fucking water. I was eating junk food all the damn time. Yeah, a lot, a lot of that was due to my situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm working like at late at night and stuff. When I get off, ain't nothing healthy around me and shit like that. The only somewhat healthy place they had, they closed fucking down. Which you got them? The only, you know what I'm saying? Place you can actually get fucking fresh fruits and vegetables from. They closed that shit down. Then they got fucking winds and shit. I'm going to the gas station and shit. Like, I don't feel like cooking nothing when I got home. And then people I'm living with, they're going to be tripping by me coming home late cooking and shit. So I'm just like, damn, I'm going to just eat some snacks at the gas station. And I'm smoking. I'm high all the fucking time. Like, even when, like, I started peeing, it got to the point where I was peeing and my pee wasn't even yellow. Like, I don't just mean that shit was dark. I mean, that shit was purple. Like, yeah, remember that? Like, I, I talked about that before. Like, when I tell people this shit, they like, what the fuck? Me a pur-? I'm like, yes, bro, my shit was purple. And guess what? I still didn't go to the fucking hospital. I still didn't go get checked out. I was just like, man, fuck it. It's probably going to return back to normal. Yeah. Nigga, my pee was purple, bro. That shit purple. not fucked. It posted, your pee is not ever supposed to be brownish purple. My shit was brownish purple. So that's your wild cause like it took it took for me to be in so much pain for me to pass out for me to be like okay I'm not gonna I'm gonna be conscious about my health like yeah your body will tell your your body will tell you too your body will definitely fucking tell you like yo and and and, 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 and the crazy thing you. is like crazy thing is a lot of people don't get so fortunate with to just get a kidney stone a lot of people they get diagnosed types of diabetes they might get diagnosed with cancer they might get diagnosed with something else later down the, the road so even though yeah it sucks that it happened but you know it's good that it was only a kidney stone even though it wasn't just a kidney stone like it was a whole bunch of shit after that but it's good that it it was something that i can at least recover from you know what i'm saying that i can at least reverse you feel me so a lot of people they get they they, they get them shit that they can't even fucking reverse so it's like I can at least be thankful that it wasn't something that, as bad as that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when, 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 you know, I got, like I always tell people, like, I had to be shocked into being serious about my health. I knew what the fuck I needed to be doing. I just didn't care. I just didn't care. Even when I saw this shit taking effects, even when I saw it, it's something going on in my urine, I still didn't go to the fucking hospital. Until I literally fucking passed out the next day from how much pain I was in. It like like yesterday, this same time, yesterday, last year, like yesterday, the anniversary, I spent the whole fucking day. 
October 6, 2022. Yesterday was the anniversary of the day I spent in the hospital all day, hooked up several different types of painkillers, bro. Like, I had morphine. I had all types of fucking opiates injected into me, bro. Like, this shit was crazy, bro. Like, I, I had all these damn tubes in me, bro. Like, Damn. This shit was crazy, like, and I that shit had never happened to me before. Like, I, I was used to seeing that shit with other family members when they got when they got sick. Like my grandma, you know, my grandma and my mom and shit like that, and my auntie and shit like that, because they had chronic illnesses and stuff. So I'm used to going to the hospital and seeing my own family members with tubes with them. But but to be a young person that ain't even 20, 21 yet, to be twenty years old, that's crazy. And, and you and you in a fucking hospital with tubes into you, like like you like I like I, I couldn't even fathom that shit at first. I'm like, damn, I'm really in the same position that my mom but my mother being that my grandma, you know what I'm saying, being when they be in the fucking hospital with tubes and shit. Like it was a very humbling experience, you know. I had to have motherfuckers take care of me. Like it was it was a humbling experience. And when you go through something like that, everything changes. <laughs> your, your mind changes. Like everything fucking know. changes because you don't want to be that down bad again, bro. Like you don't want to be that down bad again. And what's crazy is it's just, it's just crazy, bro. Like I'm not gonna keep being a dead horse, but like I said, like so when I see people neglecting their health, I can't even be mad at them because I know I still be doing the same shit. Facts, a lot facts, of those man. people ain't went through what I went through. They went through what I went through. They probably they, they doing the same shit. A lot of people they 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 can keep doing the same thing. They keep drinking soda every day for for decades before they finally develop something serious. They can keep doing the same shit with no consequence. A lot of people is gonna catch up with other people um, yeah, it's gonna sooner than others, and they caught right. up with me sooner than other people. So that's what happened. Is just. When I see people not taking care of themselves, it ain't caught up to them yet. And even though they might have a condition that that may have happened, like they might have, oh, I got something bad with my heart. When I when I say it ain't caught up to them, yeah, I mean their quality of life has has not has still not been impacted severe enough for them to finally be like, okay, nigga, I need to fucking do something different because I do not want to go through that shit again. Yeah, I feel on that. And I don't want to take medication for this shit because a lot of these medications they don't have long term studies. Money. They don't have. They don't have. They they have all these side effects. You see the 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 uh the the commercial for all these medications, and you see oh nigga they'll list fucking death as a side effect. They'll list neurological problems. They'll say oh your body may ha not be able to fight off infections, and they'll list ten different cancers. Ask the fucking side effects all in one and just go on and just move on to the next commercial like it's nothing. People just take this shit. I'm like, but there gotta be another way. There gotta be another way you you can figure this shit out. Like even with the whole heartburn shit and, and me being somebody that that struggled with heartburn and having family members that that uh that take heartburn medicine and shit. I'm like, I'm not really taking no fucking heartburn medicine. It's my diet, bro. It's the way I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? Like. When I eat right, I don't have crazy heartburn. But every time, you know what I'm saying, Thanksgiving, they made a banana pudding and shit like that, and I indulge in that shit. What happens? I'm always clearing my throat because I'm always getting crazy ass ass reflux. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it's just that that's what it is, bro. But again, people, they might have something, but they have stuff that they can still function with. I could not function with what I had. I was in pain all the time. It hurt to pee. I couldn't go to work, and when I got infected, when when there was an infection cause, I I mean I would that was the most sick I had ever been in my life. I felt like I was gonna die. I felt like death, <laughs> like like I felt I felt dead already. I felt like a fucking zombie, and the fucking walking dead. I felt I felt zombie. Like it just didn't make no fucking sense. Crazy, like like yo. like to be able to feel that way, like that shit haunts me, bro. Like that shit that shit that shit, that shit haunts. Me. It's a uh, sepsis ain't no fucking joke, bro. It's um, it's like a it's like a fucking lesson to be really learned. Like you really, yeah, like you said before, you really gotta go through some shit for real. That's what I'm saying. 
you gonna say to yourself, "Damn, I gotta get on my shit." You, you're not lying. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna rent. I'm not gonna get on, on here and rent like I'm better than everybody else. Like I'm not even gonna get up on here and be like, "Oh man, people gotta do better." People got. I know people ain't gonna do better because I know I wouldn't be doing better if that shit hadn't happened to me. True. People have to have their wake up call. That's all there is to it. Most people. Now, a lot of people, they may get up on here and they may just see what happens to somebody else. And that's enough to motivate them. That wasn't enough to motivate me in this particular instance because I, I just couldn't control myself. I would try to let that be my motivation, but I still wouldn't be able to control myself. I needed something to actually happen to me. Because now I'm like, OK, I know how it feels now. I know how it feels to be in a fucking hospital and you can't even drink anything. The only way you hydrate it is because you they they sticking water in you through an IV. That's the only reason why you even fucking hydrate. Like I know it, you because you can't drink nothing because you're gonna throw it up. So the only way it's possible for you to stay hydrated, that's how sick I was. The only way it's possible for you to stay hydrated is let them inject IV in you. Because other than that, you're gonna be severely dehydrated. So it's like because I had that experience, it, it hit it hit different. It just does. And, and I'm not saying it gotta be like that for everybody else, but for a lot of people, that's what it gotta be like. If they don't already have the motivation already, they have to come across something that's severe enough. They have to be a lot of people have to be shocked and traumatized into taking care of their health. They have to. Thanks. True. They have they have to be shocked into taking care of their health. They have to be traumatized. It's like a game beggar going out game banging. They might not realize, they might know that, oh man, like this shit gonna get you killed, this shit gonna get you in jail. But until they actually go through that, that's what making people like, okay, like, yeah, these, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, even though we know, even though I know this shit, we know this shit ain't good for us, we still gotta, a lot of us still gotta go through it. Like, we still have to go, we still have to suffer the consequences firsthand, even though we know because. Uh, we we just don't have enough self discipline. A lot of us, and I didn't have enough self discipline. So that, like I said, that's that's my thoughts on that. That's that's what happened, needs to happen. True facts. You not that's big facts right there. True to the people. Crazy, crazy, great. Uh, same experience they went through was crazy though. It's interesting too though. That that's the wake up call. Niggas need you know come to the conclusion. You know, and like I said, it, I, I look at it. Everything got a good and bad side to it. Like. It just, it's just a blessing in the skies because had it not happened, I would keep doing the same shit. Over and over. <laughs> Probably 10 years later, I might develop something that was more serious, more life-threatening because I didn't stop all the way back then. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I might have, end up having fucking type 2 diabetes and shit if I just keep doing the same shit. And I know like that shit runs strong in my fucking blood. So it's like that's why I, I know I had to, I knew I had to be careful. But even while knowing that, it wasn't until I went through that shit until I realized, like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people ask me, like, how the fuck you get a kidney stone at 20 years old? Exactly, nigga. Exactly. That's how you know. That's how you know how bad I was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you know how bad I was. This is crazy. This is wild out here, yo. Shit. Crazy story, man. Um, another question. Um, how do you feel about other people? Fucking, uh, how do you feel about other people? How feel like other men judging another man's appearance? Another, you said another man judging another man's appearance, yeah, based off face or, or body, whatever, anything. Why you ask me this because people started talking shit because you cut your dress or something? Now, I'm gonna yeah, yeah, but at the same time, it's like I don't really give a fuck. Look, I look at it as some weird shit. If you judge somebody based off their appearance or face and eating, I find that shit weird to me. Cause you judging another man, you know what I mean? I don't understand that. That shit gay. I ain't even gonna lie. So that's what I said. Yo, I said the like, same thing. Like that shit gay. It's like why it, it's cool to me? look at a nigga if he got like a haircut. It'd be like okay, that shit fit him, fit him. That shit clean, but. I ain't never seen somebody on up on the internet up on YouTube. They felt the need to comment about how they should cut their hair. Thanks. Like, unless they shit was like, obviously, if they shit was fucked up, but you just like, okay, you gotta help them out or some shit. Like, yo, they they fucked up your hairline. Like, you need to fix that. 
that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like these niggas just ha have a hairstyle. You, I'm talking about these niggas just have a hairstyle that you that you just you just want them to have another hairstyle, even though the hairstyle they want is fine. That shit gay as fuck to me. That shit gay. I ain't gonna hold you. I have told, I have plenty of people who call me, you know, you ugly nigga. That are like I'm like, yo, I'm like, like, what are you like, like, you want me to look cute for you, nigga? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 like bro, long, bro, like, bro, because I have people try to do this shit. Like, oh, you should cut your hair, man. These niggas was obsessed. Like, I go to work, these niggas be obsessed about me cutting my hair. I'm like, bro, why does it matter, bro? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, they're like, they're like, oh man, just cut your hair, bro. Man, you just cut your hair. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why? Why is that shit? Why is this so important? Like, I don't be giving a fuck about what's on these other niggas' heads, bro. Like, I don't care, bro. Like, if I look at Long, if I if I if I was doing a live stream on Long Wolf, and I was looking at his fucking dreads or some shit or his twist or his hair, and I'd be like, man, you should you should really grow that shit out. And I just kept mentioning that shit. Like, that shit kind of gay, bro. Like. What the fuck? Like <laughs> that shit kind of gay. Like I just think that shit kind of gay. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like if I if I'm if you dad obsessed with another nigga head, like and what hairstyle you want for that nigga, like that shit gay, bro. But, and there's also people trying to live through other people. Like I feel like a lot of people be wanting people to do shit that they couldn't that they can't do themselves. So like when I was when I was going to school. When I, um the middle school I went to, you couldn't have a certain hairstyle, so I couldn't have dreads. Even though I wanted dreads, I always wanted long hair since I was a kid. I always wanted long hair. Still like having long hair because I never got to enjoy having long hair. Mm -hmm. But when I was fucking twelve years old, I couldn't I couldn't grow my hair out like I wanted to. But so when I saw other other dudes and other people just in general, I would tell them, "Hey, but you should grow out your hair out and get dreads." Cause I'm trying to live through them because I can't do what I want with my hair. So a lot of times you may see bald niggas or niggas who done stop growing hair or just simply can't grow. They or like, you might have, you know what I'm saying? You might have them start talking shit about your hair. Cause they trying to live through you. They want you to get the hairstyle that they wish they could have, or they want you to cut their hair so that they don't feel as alone or some shit. Like I feel like that's another reason too. So you might not have to be gay, but, I feel like a lot of times it's just people trying to live through other people. Like when when I when I when I start when I started being able to grow my hair out like I wanted to, I didn't give a fuck about what was on anybody else's head. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't know. Nah, I don't have. I don't have to live through nobody else because I can do what the fuck I want with my own shit. I can do what I truly want. Thanks. But yeah, facts. you always you always had weird niggas trying to like. Like I, I deal with that shit all throughout school. Like niggas niggas like when I started growing my hair out or when I started like. Yeah, it's just just niggas just focusing so much on my head. I'm like, why the fuck do it even matter, bro? Thanks, like, thanks, like thanks. I had a teacher. I had a fucking teacher that would always be so obsessed about like about my like in the ninth grade, bro. Like this nigga was so such a fucking weirdo. This nigga would always like be focused on my hair because my I just had a nappy ass afro, and he would call me and several other dudes up to the front of the class during in the middle of the class and tell us to go to the bathroom and come back with our hair picked out i'm like bro i'm all the way in the back of the class why the fuck is you so focused on my hair you literally going out of your way to look all the way in the back <laughs> of the fucking class nigga you wear glasses your eyesight already isn't good and you straining your fucking eyes just to focus on me you fucking weirdo bro like you a fuck are you a fucking gay ass pedophile nigga like why the fuck is you focus on my hey. fucking with hair all the way in the back of the class you called me up to front of the class you trying to pick my hair up what the fuck? <laughs> like you That's fucking weird. stupid. Like, but nigga, that shit weird, bro. Yo, that shit weird. And this nigga had like this nigga was from like the islands or some shit. Cause this nigga had curly ass hair. I'm like, bro, you judging me based off of my hair. First of all, you black Darn. too. But you 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 wanted the niggas with the good ass hair. You wanted the island niggas. Yo. I'm I'm the nappy nigga. My hair nappy as fuck. So you can't even understand how my hair is, bro. That's I picked it. this shit out the best I could before I got here. But I can't help it if this shit start frizzling up while I'm in fucking class because that's just how my hair is. Let my hair, that's why I hated going to that school because let my hair be how it naturally is, nigga. It's supposed to twist up. Let that shit be how it is. It's supposed to frizzle up, nigga. Your shit curly as fuck. You don't know how my hair is, nigga. The fuck? Facts. That, that's what I hate about that shit because it's. We 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 had we had white people do that shit to us back in the day, 
But now we got black people getting on other black people about how their hair posts are looking. It's fucking retarded. Facts. I hate that. Like, shit. how you gonna criticize somebody with the same fucking hair as you? It, it's 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 self inflicted racism, bro. It's self inflicted racism. This shit was stupid as fuck. True to the people. True to the people. That shit is wild. Niggas weird out here. Niggas weird out here. To the people. Uh, it's gonna be like the last question. This yo, this type of shit be getting me tight, and like niggas be getting me mad with this shit. I don't really be giving a fuck. It's my life. Everybody got their own life. They live their life how they want to live their life. Lose their shit when they, they got to lose their shit, right? <clears throat> how I feel about other men worrying about another man not losing his V-card and making fun of him for it. I feel like that's some, that's some goofy shit, and it is weird. I don't find that shit weird, but it's like, why you worry about another man losing their V-card for? You know what I'm yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't give a fuck you. That shit, that shit, this shit is weird. Always find that shit weird. I'm like, yo, I niggas need to sit down. Like, do you want to get fucked or something, nigga? I'm like, no homo. Like, niggas, I niggas act like, yo, why you worry about another man who's they V call for? That shit weird. I, I couldn't give a fuck, bro, about any of that shit. Shit's weird. Shit. It just, it, it's just the way our culture is in this society. We focus on a lot of shit that don't even matter. That it, exactly. <laughs> like, we think it matters, but it don't, bro. And, and it reminded me of a conversation I had with one of my niggas because I was telling him, I was telling like one of the dudes like that I'd be chopped over with. Like, I t- like it's not even just not just one person. Like, I had people that I work with and shit, and I tell them like, "Yo, you know you're actually supposed to sit down when you fucking pee, even as a man, because when you stand up when you fucking peeing, mm-hmm. your bladder does not fully relax, yeah. so it, you can you can retain." Fucking urine that way. You're not fully relaxing your fucking muscles. And this nigga, all these niggas, all every any nigga I tell that shit to, they go, oh man, that shit, I don't give a fuck. That shit's still gay. I'm like, <laughs> nigga, you, you you pee to sit down when you shit anyway. So either way, like that don't even make sense. Like, I don't even I don't even understand how that shit. I mean, I, I guess I, I get the logic because women, you know what I'm saying, they they sit down regardless. So it's like they just twist that shit. But it's like I said, it's one of those things that just don't even fucking matter. Like. Like I really don't even go. That shit don't get, got nothing to do with a nigga masculinity, bro. Facts, facts. And I didn't even get into that shit until, like, like I said, after I after I started researching about the fucking urine and 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 bladder shit. That was after I had the kidney stone shit. But I was just like, what the fuck? So we actually been doing this shit fucking wrong. Like you actually is supposed to sit down when you fucking pee because you 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 gotta fully relax your fucking muscles. Now, obviously, if you out in public. Nigga, you gonna fucking stand up because it's shit gonna be dirty as fuck. But if I'm, you know, just in general, like as far as like fully relaxing your muscle, you actually are supposed to sit down. And a lot of people have been doing that shit for a thousand years. A lot of religions of people have been doing that shit. So again, a lot of people just be ignorant. Um, but they again, they just focus on shit that don't make sense. Like I said, it just goes back to what I was saying. Like in this in this culture uh, uh, that we got in society, like especially like when it comes to men, like. We focus on certain things as defining as the as 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 we, we focus on certain things as as to, as to like we, we focus on how how can I explain this? We like I be knowing this shit, but I don't even be able to put it into words because it like it be so like we focus on like I'm trying to figure out a way to explain this shit so uh, like to translate it so that the audience can it can be translatable to the fucking audience. So like we, we focus on certain things like they, like they, like they determine our masculinity, but they really don't. So a lot of people think how many bodies you got determines how you is as a man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they think, Oh man, like, you know what I'm saying? If you fucking sit down to pee, you're not a fucking man. Or if you ain't got, no fucking bodies, nigga. You and you a fucking man. Like at the end of the day, what you have to understand as a man is that it shouldn't matter what external thing. You should carry yourself the, the same fucking way. And this is the shit that I'll be that I'll be talking about with fucking seam retention and all that shit. Like when when niggas be saying, "Oh man, seam retention get you fucking 
Dude, that that's another thing that I thought was kind of fucking gay, goofy <laughs> as hell. Because a lot of these niggas be like, not to shit on people that talk about semen retention, but it's like when when niggas get to the point where they like, I just never understood, like, bro, like niggas, that shit just funny as fuck to me. Like niggas be counting the amount of days that they go without busting or nothing. Just I'm just like, bro, just the whole know. thing to me, I don't agree with because. It's like and you're not being intuitive about any fucking thing at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're counting how many days you're going without releasing. And yes, while it is good to not be fucking releasing every fucking day or not be fucking females and shit and busting all the fucking time to the point where it's getting in the way of your goals and shit. You shouldn't be putting all your energy into that shit. It doesn't make sense to just go. They, 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 they look at one extreme. And then they think, okay, how I fix this is just going completely to the other extreme and being super meticulous and having a whole fucking notebook of how many days I can go without uh, busting. Like, that shit don't make sense to me. Like, <laughs> and then niggas right. be like, oh, man, this shit get you females. I'm like, okay, so you telling them so because are you saying you wasn't getting no bitches before? <laughs> to me personally, whether I bust nut or not, the amount of females I get is going to be the same because, god damn it, bro. The amount of females I get gonna be the same because as a man, it's all about how you carry yourself. It don't matter. Like I said, these niggas be looking at external, and that's the, the problem I got with niggas being like so dreams about like oh semen retention or anything for that matter. Like, oh, get this money or get this fucking body, get this six pack, and, and you'll get fucking females. Like, it don't work like that, bro. Cap, cap. I know from experience it don't work like that. It's all about you. Semen retention is not going to get you females. Being rich is not going to get you females. Having a fucking six pack in and in, in of itself is not going to get your females. Get you females if you're still a fucking bitch. If you still don't know how to fucking talk to women, and people think semen retention, uh, or when you go on semen retention, you get a big boost of confidence. But that's a that's a myth too because confidence is is mindset. The reason why I feel like people make that logical connection is because. There is a level of shame associated with, uh, of you know, not busting to it to uh, or or not being on semen retention within certain communities. So yeah, it's gonna impact that person's confidence because they feel ashamed. But do you really think females don't fucking masturbate? But you don't see this cloud be over them like it's like it's over niggas. I'm pretty sure females masturbate all the fucking time. But do you see? A whole bunch of females being like, oh, man, how do I get a, How do I get a guy? How do I get like, yeah, you're going to have some females like that. But for the most part, generally speaking, it's females generally have more options than niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's a lot easier for females to get dick than it is for niggas to get pussy. Fact. Anybody that's been out in the real world in the workplace knows that shit. All you got to do, all you got to be is halfway decent as a fucking female. You still gonna be able to just you could go up to a nigga, they could go up to a nigga right now and offer to 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 fuck him, and the nigga would not refuse as long as you look halfway decent. Come on, bro. But as a man, you can't do that shit to no fucking female, but you know damn well if a female that look decent enough did that to a nigga my age, generally speaking, who hormones is still out of out of all over the place around high school, they looking to fuck something, you know they're not gonna say no to that shit. But so it's like, but do you think females? So so yo, whole these whole this whole excuse that niggas get. Oh oh well, uh, you know the reason you once you had that once you get on semen retention, that aura is gonna attract the fucking female. Like that's fucking. I don't agree with that. Like it's all about mindset. You could be it on. You could be on ten years of semen retention. You still a bitch at the end of the day. You still gonna get less pussy than a nigga who jack off every day, but still has fucking confidence and doesn't have shame about that shit. That's all that matters. And obviously, I'm not promoting that niggas do that shit. What I'm simply saying is that it's all about, it all comes down to your mindset when it comes down to confidence. That's why it don't matter how much, and also just how much fucking, how you are as a person and what type of female the, the female is. Because every female ain't meant for, for, the, for, for every nigga, too, on top of that. That's nothing like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know for a fact that it really don't matter. Like, it's all about how you was as a person and just carrying yourself and you can't even like nigga niggas try to look to something outside of them as a cheat code for getting women they try to look for oh i gotta get the new card i'm gonna get the girl 
Yeah. I gotta do this. I gotta get into the streets and and be, and, and, and start dressing like you know, and I'm gonna get females. I used to have this fucking mentality, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to think, oh man, I got dressed nice. That shit don't fucking matter, bro. It's all about you as a person, bro. You can have all the muscles in the fucking world. You can have all the money. And if your personality and if your mouthpiece throws yeah, off the girls, yeah. or if they don't like your mouthpiece as much as they like another nigga mouthpiece, or if you simply just can't make them feel the same way that another nigga can make them feel, it doesn't matter. Because I've been the nigga that, uh, that attracted the baddest bitch at fucking work with <laughs> no fucking car. Nothing in my name. Still got, got, had her attracted to me and I ain't even fucking want her. Mm. But you had other niggas crawling over her. Obsessed with her to the point. When she not around, they asked me, hey, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? What you did with old girl? Like, they obsessed, nigga, because they want that shit. They got, a, they got a car. They got money. But I don't mean she don't shit. give a fuck, bro. Like, no, I had no, multiple no. girls, bro, like, want to give me a ride home all the fucking time. I, like, offer. I didn't even ask them, bro. Like, they, they offering, bro. Like, they begging me, like, damn, let me give you a fucking ride to work. Let me give you a ride. I'm like, bro. So I know for a fact that shit don't even fucking matter, bro. Like, when I was, no, bro, like, when I still smoke, bro, I was seeing, I would have females going to the gas station for me because I would always be talking to older women. <laughs> I would have females going to the gas station for me and get cigarettes for me because I hadn't turned 21 yet. And I would have them get relos for me. They just do it, bro. They just fucking do the shit. Like I, I, I call them up, be like, "Hey, bro, you, you gonna be at work? Uh, can you, can you hand me? Can you give me some fucking rug? You grass rellos and give them to me when we at work." They do that shit, bro. Like, like, so it's like, it's all just about, and I don't have shit to my name, bro. Like, I don't have shit to my name. Like, you don't need a fucking six pack or any of this shit to get fucking women, bro. If you can't pull bitches while you're broke, it doesn't matter if you get rich. It doesn't matter if you get fucking, if you have a fucking six pack. It doesn't matter how many days you're going without semen retention. If anything, being rich and, and, and having a six pack and having muscles, that's just going to make their pussy even more dry because you have the attributes of what should make somebody more confident, but you're still fucking timid. You're still, a fu you're still freezing up around fucking females, even though you had a fucking six pack and you don't, you don't even have a reason to. That just, that makes they pussy even even more dry than if you was an ugly nigga that was shot. Cause at least they're like, oh man, you at least he's ugly, so he has a reason to be fucking nervous, nigga. You don't have no reason to be nervous. There's no reason why you shouldn't be getting bitches when you have a fucking Lamborghini in a fucking mansion. You 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 have a fucking six pack. So the fact that you still can't pull no bitches that makes them even less attracted to you because they know that the sole reason why you're not getting no females has to just be you. So that makes they pussy even more dry. Like, okay, it's definitely something wrong with this nigga. Mm. It's true to the people, true to the um, people. True to the people. Facts. Facts. Yeah, niggas be just be throwing all that shit in there. Yeah. You, 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 that you spoke true because, like, it really is about how you carry yourself and your personality. Dude, that goes for the fucking females, too. Not just for the dudes. Shit. Real talk, real talk. Yeah. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Um and obviously I'm not saying don't focus on getting money. It don't focus yeah. on fucking because nigga, I I'm toned up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking fat. You know what I'm saying? Like I do physical shit to uh to keep you know to keep stay toned up but i'm not doing that shit in the hopes that it's gonna give me a female i'm not looking at it as a cheat code to get a female when i'm focused on getting money i'm not doing that shit because i want a female when i focus on getting my own place i'm not doing that shit because i'm thinking it's gonna be a cheat code to, to getting females i'm not striving to get a car because i'm thinking it's gonna be a cheat code to make it easier for me to get females i'm doing this shit because for me because i want my overall quality of life to be better and having these things Will ensure that I have a better quality of fucking life. It, it will ensure that I have more money to spend on or, or a bigger budget to spend on fucking on you know eating like organic fucking food that's not fucking poison and shit like that. So that's why I'm focused on that shit. I'm not so you obviously should strive for these things, but you shouldn't look at it as a key code to get in pussy because it's never gonna work that way. That's what I mean. So when you if you somebody that want to practice semen retention. 
you can you can do that if you have an addiction and you need to fucking you need to fucking uh yeah. you need to fucking like like chill out on that shit. You know you got a problem. I don't have I'm not addicted to porn anymore. So I don't focus on that shit. I don't I don't uh, focus on, on any of that shit because I'm I'm not addicted to that shit no more. I used to be. I'm pretty sure every nigga went through a phase where they was addicted to that shit. Facts. But you I don't need to focus on I don't need to focus on how many days I can go without seeing because I'm not addicted to that shit. I don't let shit like that get in the way of my fucking goals, bro. I don't let shit like that get in the way of 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 of, of what I what I need to do, what I'm trying to have going on. So that's why I feel like I feel like semen retention is only should only be for those people that need to 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 uh practice restraint when it comes to that. But if you know you don't need to practice restraint, if you know you're not one of those people that's letting it get in, impact your quality of your life, you don't need to focus on that shit. I don't need to focus on that shit. So, you know, and it sure as hell is not a cheat code to get in pussy. Like, that's the dumbest shit ever, bro. And these niggas just be recycling shit that they see uh, somebody else make on a fucking YouTube channel and they just say the shit. Like, bro, if I wanted views right now, I could easily just, if I wanted more views and subscribers, I could easily just upload a fucking video. And be like, yeah, bro, like females can feel where you got that energy from semen retention. And I would attract viewerships like no time. No time. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason why a lot of these niggas do it. Because there's this whole fan base that, that's in this, that's in this whole thing, that's in this mindset right now. And this shit just I can't I can't get with it. Like, but but I know that if I wanted views, that's all I would have to do. Cause just because I see that there's this whole fucking I don't want to say I don't want to say incel because I think that's a different fan base, but it's just a, it, it's it's similar to that in the sense that there's just a whole network of of men, community of men that are attracted to that stuff. And I know all I have to do is like religion, it's like politics. All I have to do is claim a certain party, claim to be a Christian, claim to be a Muslim, and I can attract a, a fan base like that because that stuff already has a fan base tied to it. And I could just use that to get more subscribers. Community too is a community fucking group. It's like it's like a kind of like a cult type shit. Facts. Yeah, exactly. Facts. Truth to the people. Truth to the people. But um, the folks facts is fucking word. Uh, first off, um, first and foremost, we got any questions for me for 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 a dip? No, nah, I don't have I don't have any questions. And it's crazy because like a lot of people don't have the same perspective as me. A lot of people don't have the same perspective because when it comes to a lot of situations, I've been on the complete opposite sides of a lot of situations. I know how it feels to live in a nice ass neighborhood. And I also know how it feels to live in a fucking trash apartment complex that's that's covered in roaches. You know what I'm saying? I know how it feels to be the nigga with no bitches jacking off every day. And, and, and be the motherfucker that got the baddest, that effortlessly pulls the baddest girl without even trying. Everybody trying to, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, be, be on, you like, I, I know how it feels in, in these aspects, in a lot of aspects. I, I have a, a, such a perspective that a lot of niggas can't offer because I, I, I noticed that because I've been on the complete opposite sides of a lot of aspects of life. I've, I've seen both aspects. I've been the motherfucker experiencing both uh, uh, ends of the spectrum when it comes to a lot of aspects in life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know how it feels to be the, the outcast and then and then be the, the, the cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I know how that shit feels to, to glow up and, 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 and it be the complete opposite. And, and, to the, and, and be focused on getting fucking bitches and then now you and this, now I'm mindset I'm in, I wish getting females was all I had to worry about. You know what I'm saying? But before it was so fucking hard for me to get females. Now I'm like getting that shit is the easiest fuck compared to what I got to fucking do now compared to the moves I'm making now in regards to making money and trying to get my own stuff off the ground. I wish I had everything else figured out and getting females was the only thing like that. That shit, oh, that shit, that shit would be so fucking easy, bro. So it's like, it's crazy because I have such a unique perspective because I have experienced having the opposite mentality of a, of a when it comes to a lot of aspects in life. I, I've been the motherfucker who was like, oh, damn, like, 
damn, I can't get no fucking pussy. I can't, I can't get none of that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a virgin at this age and shit like that. Then this now this mindset I'm at, oh, I don't even give a fuck. Yeah, females, oh, that's easy. Like, I had a complete opposite mindset, bro. Like, to where to the point where I, I'm not even recognizable to my to my former self. Like it's like it's just crazy as fuck. Cause it's like that's why I feel like I have such a I can offer such a unique perspective because a lot of people they only use they may not have the same exact mentality, but they only used to having a certain aspect. They only used to stay staying on a certain side of the spectrum when it comes to a lot of aspects in life. And I've experienced the opposite, the com the complete opposite extreme ends of both. Uh, uh, of, of complete extremes of both ends of, of of the spectrum when it comes to a lot of aspects in life. So I just want to get that out there. True, true, true to the people, true to the people. True to the people. But yeah, that's it. All right, man. Yeah, Jay, Jay was open now in the, was in the building. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, go tap in. To the channel same and the yeah. same thing for me same thing with that eating healthy shit like like how we started off in the beginning of the video i've been the motherfucker they ate junk food all day that was dignity and pop tarts like i go through a whole back i've been on a complete opposite so it's like that's why when you ask me uh that's that question in the beginning i'm like shit i'm not even gonna talk shit about these people i'm not even gonna say oh, they got to start taking care of their health i'm not gonna say nothing about these people because because i know i know them because i've been that person you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. I know, I know. Plus, they had to learn. They got to learn. Yeah, like so. So I understand that they're not going. That a lot of these people are not going to take care of their health until something pushes them to, until they until they encounter something severe enough to push them into that. That's why it ain't no point in me talking about yeah. all that other shit. I don't even look at it from that angle because I have that experience of being on both sides. So, and I knew what it takes me to took for me to for me myself to get on get on the other end of the spectrum. So I know I understand what it's gonna take for a lot of people. So, so yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You man. Yeah. Once again, I go subscribe to my boy Jay Well Nas. I go tap in. Yeah, yeah. He got some content out. Go tap in. I go subscribe and shit like that. Yeah, bro. Good content. Good content. Good conversation. Um. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. So, talk to you.